Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be my last minute spring cleaning Hello Summer haul. I know summer's like two months away but I live in Florida so summer is pretty much here. Since I knew that summer is around the corner and the Sephora VIB was coming up, I did pick up fragrances. So that's what this haul is mostly made of and then some other new um fragrance releases that i wanted to pick up and then i am letting go of a few more perfumes that i wanted to share with you guys because that's just my way of updating you guys on any fragrances that didn't work out for me so we'll save that for the end so let's go ahead and get into the video so the first fragrance i'm going to talk about is actually one that was supposed to be in my birthday haul and that is a fragrance by kith and i don't know if it's malin and goats i'll just show you guys the box but it's called vapor and this fragrance is supposed to embody this brand kith is a like a clothing store but this fragrance i did not see or hear about like this isn't even on fragrantica i actually heard about this one and femme fragheads i think it is it's a Facebook fragrance group that I follow. This was a scent that when I got it and sprayed it, immediately I was like, oh my God, I found my top fragrance of 2022. And I absolutely love the opening of this fragrance. But it's the dry down of this fragrance, I would say after the two hour mark, that I'm still playing with. I don't know if I'm, I, I wanna, you know, now that it's warming up, I wanna see if it changes a little bit because that opening is first of all this is unlike any fragrance i have this fragrance they did embody what they wanted to they wanted to kind of capture the brand so let me go over what they have on their site because again you can't find any information about this on fragrantica so vapor represents the freshest form of the kith aesthetic an olfactory interpretation of all materials that make up our brand's identity glass marble and stainless steel this has top notes of bergamot iced currant pink pepper mid notes of black dahlia saffron snowdrop and the dry down of charcoal accord suede woods vanilla bean and birch first of all to me this set is very hard to describe this is a very kind of posh fragrance expensive but in a more contemporary way like you think of those very artsy houses in the movies that's got a lot of glass there's a lot of marble kind of like what they want the fragrance to embody that's what this is there is nothing you can compare this to. This smells like an expensive store when they put like scents in the vents. That's what this is. But on my skin after that two hour mark, something about it goes off. I don't know if it's the charcoal or what, but it has something very kind of colony in the base. And it, it's something that then I don't know if I like anymore. Like to me, the magic is in the opening, the first two hours of this fragrance. And then I think when it's kind of dying down around the two or three hour mark, there's something about it I'm not crazy about. Now, I do, I don't know if there's sandalwood in here because there is something about this scent that comes off kind of creamy. I mean, it doesn't list it. Maybe it's the suede woods. I know when I sprayed this for Dennis, he smelled coconut and I get more sandalwood, which tends to come off that way to him. There is something kind of like creamy about this kind of like how sandalwood comes off but there's no sandalwood listed i want to try it again in summer and just see how it plays because again i got it around my birthday and it was cooler so i want to follow up on this scent because it is something I, i've never smelled before it's not anything that i have and i really I really want this one to work because again that opening is just amazing and then before i get into um some of the sephora fragrances i got i did want to bring up this sol de janeiro anita so i had actually hauled this in august but didn't want to include it in my fall haul this came out in august of last year and i completely forgot about it and then uh someone recently watched my Sol de Janeiro video and asked me about it. I did see Tara talk about this one recently, but it was actually a subby that asked if I could 
talk about this scent. So this fragrance is just a sweet, sugary, tropical cocktail. Think of, I don't want to say a pina colada, because it's not overly coconut. But yeah, I guess it, there's no pineapple in here, but I guess a pina colada is the best way to describe this because this has passion fruit and I think it's coconut nectar, but this, there is something that comes off kind of like a pina colada drink. Very sugary, sweet, tropical, fruity. You do get the patchouli in this one in the base. And there is something kind of sweet about this one coming from the vanilla. Very nice, this is one that I've worn it on its own and after a while the patchouli starts to come in when the top notes fade and I'm not crazy about it so I actually kind of mix this one. I've tried it with my Angel Ice Star with the pineapple and I like it like that. So this I use kind of as a topper. But it's really nice, I do wanna follow up with it now that summer's coming. I like stuff like this for layering so I'm gonna try it out some more and I wanna try it with some of my other kind of pineapple scents that I have and then come back with some layering combos because I do have a lot of pineapple creams that I think will layer really nicely. And again, that's Sol de Janeiro's Anita. All right, and then that's gonna lead me into the fragrances that I got during the Sephora VIB and then a few new releases. So. This one I actually didn't get during the Sephora VIB, but I did get this Elasti Cream. So I got this during the VIB sale along with some other items. So people said that this smells like BR540 and Cloud. I think it smells more like Cloud. If you guys have watched my channel, you know that I pretty much say that Cloud isn't a dupe for BR540. If anything, for me, it's more of a more feminine, flanker when you think of how perfumers make flankers and how they don't often smell exactly the same but you get the dna that's what cloud has always kind of reminded me of when it comes to br540 like they have similarities but they're not dupes for each other this is just very light this layers really nicely it's not going to overpower the scent it leaves a nice feeling very light airy and just yeah it's not as strong this you get more of the cloud to me this smells like cloud a little bit more sweet this has dragon fruit i believe it is and this one's called Cherosa 68 and it has brazilian jasmine and pink dragon fruit and it's like this lighter pink color i would say this one and the last one that came out i think it's 49 they're kind of light they're not as strong as you know the original like the 62 yeah this is nice both of these i think are nice if you want to like layer use that as hairspray use as like a topper this will go nicely with any kind of pineapple fragrance and this one if you have like those fragrances that kind of have that that dna like br540 and cloud more so cloud i think i did pick up and i haven't tested it out but i do want to go over this house entirely i picked up this nest perfume oil because i want to try some of these and see if any of these are um full bottle worthy this is tiny just so you can see how little this is like the tip of my finger and there is sandalwood Turkish Rose, Madagascar Vanilla, Indian Jasmine, and Seville Orange. I think this is just enough to let me know if I want to get a larger bottle of anything to kind of lay as a base, but I did want to try that, so I picked up this little set here. And then I did pick up two other Nest fragrances. I picked up Wild Poppy and Sun Kissed Hibiscus. I really enjoy the nest line but i actually enjoy the travels because these are scents that to me remind me of other fragrances again i want to go over the line i have i have i i want to say i have pretty much all of them and travels but sun kiss hibiscus i have been wearing and this is your kind of suntan warm floral beach scent i don't know if there is like elaine in here but it's got those kind of beachy florals. This one has frangipani, which is uh, another yellow floral that kind of gives off that warm, you know, kind of yellow floral, tropical vibe. 
kind of like Ylang, but it's got frangipani, coconut, tuberose, gardenia, orange blossom, and amber. I don't really get the other florals. Like I don't really get orange blossom, gardenia, tuberose. To me, this is a very warm, yellow floral, kind of coconutty, beachy scent. What I like about this one is it isn't overly floral where sometimes it can come off and dolic. But this one is described as coconut, white floral, tropical, like tonic, amber, sweet. This is a very light coconut, floral, warm, amber scent. This one's gonna be nice for summer. And then this one, I was holding up this one, sorry about that, but this is Wild Poppy. This one's nice. I'm glad I got these in the travel because I get to try them for the summer. I don't know if they're full bottle worthy because they are reminiscent of other fragrances, but this one's nice. It's a very peppery kind of like fruity floral. This kind of reminds me a little bit of Tiffany Rose Gold smelling it from the paper this has rose pear raspberry apricot and jasmine yeah this kind of to me reminds me a little bit of tiffany and company's rose gold pretty likable curly scent there is something in here at least on the card well yeah there is there is something in here that smells a little peppery this one was in 2019, so I think this one came out first. But something about this one, I'm not saying they smell the same, but it, it's it got something, kind of that spicy rose that I get. And that scent, I'm getting in here now. That one has ambrette that sometimes does that. This doesn't list ambrette or any kind of like pink pepper, but there is something kind of tickling my my nose in this one. But this is a very nice, pretty fruity floral both of these are definitely not scents that are special in my collection because i have fragrances like them but they are likable so i'm glad i got the travel of them so that i could test them against other fragrances that i have but both of them reminded me of something else in my collection so i also got another kind of coconut scent this is solar bloom by clean reserve and you guys know i'm into the clean line i want to go over clean and nest this one has that clean DNA. Like since I've been testing out clean, there is something about them kind of like Nest. They have a thing that makes them their house. And clean does have a way of just making your skin smell clean and you know, your skin, but, but better. So this one has bergamot, mandarin orange. So there is something fresh about it in the opening. And then it has coconut milk. That's probably why it's not as creamy and kind of watery to my nose. There's orange blossom, freesia, jasmine, vetiver, coal, and patchouli. So yeah, this one's more like, it's not like tonic to me, but it's just a very light coconut scent. And I would say leans more on a clean, fresh kind of woody side. So like it opens up kind of citrusy, then the coconut milk comes in and then as it dries down you get like the vetiver and there is something in here that i i don't know what it is it's probably the coal there is something kind of like when you think of like when i describe rain coming off the the side of a mountain like when i go to puerto rico that smell that comes off of uh the rocks there is something like that in the base so i would say that what sets these two apart, because these two are two you can have because they're considered kind of coconut tropical scents. This one, well, I should take that back. They're both coconut scents. This is more clean and woodsy. And again, you get something in the background that, I don't want to say smells like coal, but when you think of like a, like a wet rock, that's what solar bloom smells like to me. This is more of your kind of coconut suntan warm floral scent so this one i would say is a little bit more unique but i will say that the performance on this one isn't the best so 
If I found this one discounted because I, I do enjoy the clean fragrances, it's one that I, I would have to get the large bottle of just because I would have to overspray it. This one I felt like I got better performance, the Sun Kissed Hibiscus. I did get this set, but I'm going to go over it at another date. This is the Discovery set by Chris Collins. And I was actually looking into his coconut scent. And it comes really nicely packaged. So I do want to kind of go through these and see if they're like full bottle worthy because i have another video coming okay and then before we get into two new 2022 releases i did want to go over house of sillage chauvado i hope i'm saying that correctly this is a fragrance that i have been testing out because i did get their discovery set and it's one that i've been holding for a sale so i do have it coming so this scent is definitely one that you can wear year round if you like this kind of sweet rose because i do find this scent to be very um likable and light but it's probably one i'm going to reserve more for date night if i do wear it in the summertime or fall and and winter just because this is more on the sweeter side so you guys know that i've been kind of chasing that roses vanille intense cafe kind of sweet rose scent now this doesn't smell like those to me this leans a little bit more if you like nina ricci's i think it's rose lextas in that black bottle this smells a lot like that fragrance and maybe in the same realm as sweet diamond pink pepper by kayali that's what this scent falls in it doesn't smell exactly like any of those if i had to say it was close to one it would definitely be nina ricci's rose lextas now that one i decluttered i started getting kind of like the synthetic i don't think they have oud in that scent but there was something that came off kind of like a synthetic oud that was starting to bother me but i absolutely loved that scent when i first hauled it it was just there was a note in there that was bugging me this one i've been testing out and it's definitely that but a more smooth more jammy rose scent and it is one that the performance is not the best it's not but i got it 60 percent off and you guys know i'll, I'll top off a fragrance the, i have kaolis that i overspray i have clean fragrances that i overspray so it is one that i didn't pay full price for but i knew i wanted this in my collection i absolutely love this scent this is that jammy rose that i want like i've tried roses berberanza i've tried so many scents that you know have that jammy rose again they don't smell the same but this one is beautiful i will say that i have been testing from the house and for the most part they all perform i am hoping that maybe it's just the travel that i have this one i will say it lasts about four hours on me and I'm hoping that when I get the actual cupcake, it'll last longer. Or maybe if I just let it sit and settle, maybe that will help. But this one's beautiful. Let me go ahead and read the notes off of this one. So this has tap notes of raspberry, wild strawberry, magnolia, middle notes of rose, Turkish rose, Bulgarian rose, and then base notes of vanilla and tonka bean. Again, it's one I'm going to reserve more for date night or um fall and winter but i wanted to pop it in here just because it is something that i recently hauled and it's on its way then next we have two 2022 releases so first i'm going to go over my scent of the day and this is mon Perry, the eau de toilette lumiere and here is the bottle you guys know i like to kind of match my outfits so let's go ahead and refresh so one thing I will say about the Montpetit range is that they all carry the Montpetit DNA. They all carry it. You can tell it's Montpetit, but they're all slightly different. The original being the most intoxicating version from all of them. It's a very intoxicating fruity floral. And Ton Simon being the sweetest, more of a kind of sweet jammy rose. And then couture being to me the freshest but the lightest and the weakest of the ones i've tried this one i do have to compare it to the floral version because i'm wondering if they smell kind of the same and i'm wondering if it's going to be a little redundant 
but there is something a little champagne like about this scent and this one is more floral than it is fruity but it does hold the dna there's just something in here that is kind of bright uplifting more daytime this has lotus turkish rose the tura jasmine white musk and patchouli i believe the floral version or the floral version i believe that one has magnolia and this one has lotus and i i think it's the lotus that's giving me kind of that bubbly bright kind of usually lotus comes off kind of like watery and there is something i don't know I, it's just giving me bubbly champagne kind of vibes like when i wear this one i i love this i just don't know if it's going to be redundant i have to pull out my floral and see how close they are and then i'll follow this up okay so next we're going to go over probably my favorite of the year so far and that is jean paul gaultier la belle fleur terrible i can't say that but the packaging on this is absolutely gorgeous and the bottle so i did have let me pull her up english pro style i hope i'm saying that right she did say that this is coming to a macy's near you so i will definitely link it as soon as i see it available for you guys i did have to get this one from a site that i've never ordered from which i don't recommend i i did trust pilot and it's called the beauty store but this already sold out this came to that french site that i've talked about sold out and it came to that beauty shop and i think it sells out because it's shops that that ship to the u.s so this scent they're definitely not giving you all the notes i think they only list water lily iris and vanilla if i'm not mistaken let me look it up yes so this is a very tropical scent but don't think tropical like tropical fruity and don't think tropical like suntanny this is this to me falls more along the line and i think people compare it to yeah they do people compare this to olympia this doesn't smell like olympia but if you like that kind of fragrance you will more than likely like this now olympia is a lifer for me which i think they discontinued it so i'll have to cherish the bottle i have this falls in that same category where it's tropical but think of kind of like the salty beach air now olympia i believe has vanilla but i do get it a little bit more in this one it's a little bit sweeter in the base and also think of alien mirage they don't smell anything alike but i know some people say that that has a very beachy salty quality to that scent and i and i feel like it's in the same vein where that one has kind of the vanilla the salted vanilla you get that in the base in this one but it's a pinch of salt don't think this is overly it's kind of like olympia it's the feeling of a the beach air and then there is something fruity about this one they don't list any fruits but i almost feel like it might have that pear but more crisp and fresh they don't say it but i'm thinking that's where the they tie in labelle maybe the vanilla and maybe the pear i don't know but there is something fruity about this one and it isn't overly citrus or like fresh so i wouldn't say like lemon or orange maybe bergamot but definitely there is something in the opening that they're leaving out again it's tropical but i wouldn't say like the yellow florals or like those beachy florals kind of like ylang or thierry flower or frangipani this isn't overly like those warm floral you know beachy scents that you get this is more like that kind of water lily like you do get the water lily and you do get the iris in here because this does come off a little powdery it's not overly like makeup it does have something a little powdery in this one so you do get kind of that kind of that powdery purple violet feeling that iris gives off but to me this is more about the water lily 
There's something dewy about this one. And I know I've heard people say that they smell coconut in here. I don't really get coconut. There might be something. And if it is, to me, it would be more almost like coconut nectar like or coconut water. It's very light, watery, and translucent. I don't have anything like this in my collection again maybe olympia a distant relative i really really enjoy this scent it's my favorite so far of the year oh, yeah. and the more and more i wear it the more and more i love it you do get olympia vibes but it's not a dupe it's got its own thing going on and i really want to hunt down the notes so that i can go over this one in more details but I absolutely love this one and the bottle is just gorgeous all right and then last we have the items that I'm gonna be decluttering I only have three the first one I'm gonna talk about there's nothing wrong with this scent someone gifted me a smaller bottle so I am getting rid of the 50 ml just because again I have them all in 30 ml and I will say that out of the line I'm gonna be going over this line in more detail this one isn't my favorite so I'm happy to have the 30 ml and I'm gonna let go of the 50 ml now this to me is the more everyday wearable fresh version of the original i'm not saying this is a freshie this isn't a freshie but there is something fresh about this one yeah something in the opening so i i have the 30 miles so i'm going to be letting go of that one and then i am going to be letting go of coco mademoiselle lo prive and i got this one last year and this was going to be my summer coco mademoiselle but honestly they don't list patchouli i believe the base note in here is musk but the base note is what bothers me so i do like the opening this one's more citrus i believe this opens with orange even though to me it's more lemon yeah this opens up very light like coco mademoiselle very light kind of citrusy but then when those notes leave it just feels like a stripped version of the original coco mademoiselle which i absolutely love so it is lighter it's just for me after a couple of hours it's it's just the base notes to me so i don't care for this one and then this last one that i'm going to be letting go of i debated i tried so hard to make this work but i gotta stop trying and that is oriana by parfum de mali and let me tell you, a little bit of this scent goes a long way. This scent performs, but it's the orange and the orange blossom. I believe it's orange that's in here and the orange blossom that bother me. It's very prominent to my nose in this scent. And for that reason, I'm just not loving it. I can wear this one in winter, but again, we don't get, we don't get a lot of winter in Florida. And this is niche and this is a large bottle. And when it comes to niche, it is something that I want to be able to wear year round because it's expensive and they typically only come in these large bottles. If I saw this in a travel, I would probably get it. No, I probably wouldn't. Honestly, I have Reckless, which falls in the same kind of scent family that I prefer. It's more blended. I don't really get the, I think that one has no roly in it. But in this one, yeah, see, it has mandarin orange and orange blossom. And it just comes off a little too, I don't want to spray it because this is expensive. It just, it just gets too sugary sweet on my skin. And orange blossom with the orange and then the marshmallow and the whipped cream. It just gets too orange, creamsicle, sugary sweet on me. And it's lovely in the cold weather but too much in the warmer weather for me so i wanted so much to uh, you know keep this one because the scent itself is beautiful it's a very pretty scent not everyone will like it i did wear it around a friend and it did make her nauseous so it's not for everyone but yeah this one to me is a more sugary sweet version of those two of love don't be shy and reckless so not a bad fragrance at all the performance on this is pretty decent especially the longer you have it this does last about the six to eight hour mark on me and a little bit goes a long way and it's one that even though i don't smell it anymore again other people do that is my quick 
spring cleaning my last minute spring cleaning and my summer haul but let me know in the comments below do you guys have any of these are you planning on picking any of these up especially the 2022 releases but that will do it for today's video i hope you liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up and i will catch you guys in my next video bye guys